going on YouTube? Jay Leone back here again. Today with another review, we're going to be looking at um, something I don't usually take a look at. The uh, K-Fun. The new, uh, not the, yeah, the new K-Fun actually. Um, and before we get into that, I hope you all had a good Halloween. Um, today we're first day of November. Um, yeah, I had a fantastic Halloween. I didn't do anything. I didn't give out any candy. Um, well, partially because I was at work during the time period, and uh, I watched some basketball, I drank some beers. That's about it. Had a Halloween. Um, but I hope you guys all had a good holiday. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be looking at the KFun 3.1 ES Delta version. start this review, I'd like to uh, apologize for last week because I didn't do a video. Um, I was sick. I um, was going around, so I was uh, under weather. So, um, yeah, so I was just not feeling up to shooting a video. I do have stuff to review. Um, do got the uh, Kick 2, which I'm using in my Magneto now. So that will probably be the next review we're going to look at. This thing is by far really good right now from what I've got. I've got some Aspire BDC tanks and I'll give you my take on those. Um, not quite the glowing review like Mr. Phil Pissardo gave it, but I don't know what's going on with those things. We'll get into that. That's that's going to be one of those interesting videos coming. Um, but anyways, today we're going to talk about the uh, KFUN 3.1 ES from uh, Slo Mesto, I believe his name is, if I'm saying that right, which I probably ain't. Um, it's, I'm going to go into, uh, where, where you can get it, where I've seen you can personally get it is from, uh, what's that website, vaporev.com. I'll post a link down here below. Um, they have them in every so often, <sighs> very hard to get your hands on, and they have the K-Fun Lite also that you can get your hands on sometimes, which is, I think, 100, 110 they sell the K Fun Light and this bad boy is 175 bucks. Three versions. They have the polished, which is what I got. They got the matte, and then they got the brush finish, which I would have liked a lot better than this. But the guy I was trading with, all he had is this, and I was just kind of like, eh, I want K Fun, so let's try it and see what it's what it's all about. But anyways, they're about 175 bucks, close to 200 bucks by the time you add up your uh, shipping and whatnot. Um, so what is pricey? So, yeah, it is worth it. I'll give you. I'll say that much. I mean, is it worth 175? Probably not, because it's just whatever this is: stainless steel and a polycarbonate tank. It's not even a glass tank. It's polycarbonate. Um, that's getting into an area where I don't like to talk too much about because, you know, there's the people that are gonna like it. There's the people that are gonna say that's way too overpriced for a rebuildable tank atomizer. 110, 125, okay. I can somewhat reason with that price, but 100, 200, almost 200 bucks. You can get a laptop. You can get a TV. I mean, there's a lot of things you can get for almost that kind of money out there nowadays. But that's enough about the price. I'm going to go po the positive, the pros and the cons on it. Um, the pros, first of all, is it's the best vape I've ever had. I got my kick set to 10 watts here. It's a one and a half ohm coil in this K-Fun. The build that you're going to see shortly is what's inside of here. And it just vapes well. It's a nice intense vape. Um, very flavorful. The best flavor I've got out of any kind of rebuildable period. Um, so it is very good in that sense. It's built very well. The threading is very well. Um, not many issues with it as far as the quality of it. It's very easy to rebuild. There, um, the negatives are, yeah, the price, and two, if even if you had the money to spend, good luck getting your hands on one, because they're not just, oh, I got 200 bucks, and then go buy one, no, because you're going to have to wait, you're going to have to put them in a list, or wait for Vaporub to uh, get new stock of them in, because I'm on a pre-order for a uh, Russian rebuildable 91%, and it's 
three months now. I've already paid. I'm waiting three months, and still they're back, delayed. The manufacturer can't deliver. Um, so that's agitating. Because even if you got the money, you're going to wait. And that's just not right. The people who have the money, I think, should be able to get them if they want them. If you can't produce enough to the point where everybody can get their hands on it, or at least the people that want them can get their hands on it, you should be making them. Period. That's my feeling on it. If you cannot produce the or uh, meet the demands, you shouldn't be in the market to do this. This is not your business. This is the way I feel about it. I mean, I understand they're pricey, but pricey is one thing, but then you can't get your hands on it. It's a whole other thing. So that's that. Um, it does have its quirkiness. The fill hole on here, which I'll so show you in the uh, I'm close bit, it sucks. And every bottle I've tried doesn't work. You need a specific type of needle tip bottle, and not a needle tip because they say that will um, screw up the uh, valve on the inside, so you can't use those. So that's a downfall. And when you are filling it, so you're left with the top fill method. You have to be careful not to unscrew the chimney on the inside when you unscrew the top cap because I have done it. Juice will just get into the build section and you'll flood everything up. That's another issue that you can have with it. It's a lot of pieces when you're unscrewing things. Just be careful you're not unscrewing the wrong thing. And when I took this apart to clean it for the first time, everything was on so tight, I had to use pliers to take it out. And it got some scratches on there because of it. So that's another issue. Um, for $175, there shouldn't be issues. I think this should be a glass tank for $175. Bucks. That's just my opinion. Um, but the, it is very good. I'm not knocking it. Everything's got pros. Everything's got cons. This is a very terrific vape. I love it. This is what I've been using exclusively for the last three weeks now. And I highly recommend it. Just can you afford it? There are knockoffs. There are some clones actually coming out of this. And I will get them and test them side by side and see the difference. But it vapes very well. But anyways, I'm going to show you now my build portion of this uh, K-Fun here. Um, again, I do recommend it. It's just a price thing and a manufacturer thing that you're going to have to work with if you do want it. I'm going to show you how I built the setup that I have in here right now. Right now, basically. So I'll send you off to that. Alright everybody, so these are all the pieces and the parts for the K-Fun um, 3.1. You're going to have, as you can see, a hell of a lot of pieces. Minus these right here. <laughs> um, we got a uh, little over here. All right. So these are all the pieces. I'm going to show you how to build it using uh, a micro coil and cotton. Cotton has now become my choice of a Wiccan material. Silica is pretty much not existent in my vaping uh, arsenal right now. Cotton and uh, cotton rope has outdone everything right now. So here is, like I said, all the parts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you count the old ring, eleven different parts that go into it. Um, I'll show you each individual part as we go through it. I'm going to start by building my coil assembly for the K-Fun. I'll move these all out of the way. And by the way, it took me about a good 20 minutes to disassemble this thing because everything was just so tight. It took forever to get it apart, but I did get it apart nonetheless with some tools. My weak hands I can't disassemble. But this is the build section. We'll go over this right now. You're going to need to know this section very well. Um, I'm going to get my focus going for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And a little bit more. And there we go. That's better. Okay. This is your build section here. You can see you have two Phillips head screws. They're up here, and then you have that little let me get a pointer here. A little pointer, here we go. And you have the air hole, which is this guy right here. And then, you, like I said, you got two Phillips screws. And down here, you have two channels. Well, you have one here, 
then you have one on the complete opposite side right there and this is how the wicking system is juice will flow from this channel up and to here where your wicks are going to be sitting here and on the opposite side right here so that's how that works um, this hole here I believe is the uh, which hole is this? this is the fill hole this is when you want to fill it through the little check fill port right here I have had no success in filling through this port um, you need some type of needle bottle um, but not they say they okay they say not to use needle bottle because you can mess up the valve with the needle so a plastic needle tip which I have not found one to work then you have this hole here which is actually your air intake is it air intake yeah air intake um, and then here is your airflow adjustment screw it's just a flathead which you could turn clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen nice feature it has um, and what else about this you can see there's a slow mesto logo right there okay so that is the build portion so I've done my micro coil and uh, I didn't do it on camera you can check my trident review if you want to see how I do it uh, just to save time and not be here for an hour making a coil um, Let's see if I can get this out of focus. I'll show you exactly what I did. Or let's see if we can't get it out of focus because autofocus turned off. Okay. There we go. See the coil right there on the drill bit? Just wrapped it around here. Um, as you can see, that last leg isn't perfect, but it will do. And I got one going north and one going south because you're going to need to do that for the K-Fund. So I have torched it already, and it's all ready to go. So actually, I'm going to leave it on the drill bit and find the build section, which will be difficult to do. And let's try to do that. I'm actually going to take it off the drill bit. It seems to make it easier sometimes. And I apologize for my camera here, but this is very difficult to do. I'm just going to wrap my coil around. Okay. I'll tighten her down. Bigger screwdriver. Okay. And now you can see, I'll give you a better show of that. Useless autofocus. <laughs> I'll get it there for a minute. And then I'll take my other leg and I'll wrap it around the other way. This is where I'm going to want to put my drill bit in just to give it some structure. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to pull it too much. And we're going to tighten it down. Okay, so see what I've done. And you can see the coil is sitting awfully crooked. Oh, way crooked, I should say. We're going to fix that with the drill bit. Drill bit in. Basically, just take the coil and move it so slightly. You can pull it off that center hole there. And now it's looking better. You see it's over the air hole, it's right in the center, and it looks pretty damn good. This might be my best build. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more so I make sure that we're sitting off that air hole 
perfect. No one shot that. There you can see it's off the air holder. See how it's in the center. And that's it. Now I'm going to break my leads off. <clears throat> and I don't break mine. I shall cut mine because sometimes they just come loose when you do that. I always get pieces of cans that go flying as soon as I step on them and freaking cut myself. Okay. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is actually test fire it. Um, I'm going to have to put it a little bit more together than it is right now. We will grab the bottom. This is what they call the collector tank. I'm going to set this up so you guys can see what I'm doing again. Because God forbid the focus works. Okay, this is the collector tank. Um, when access juice kind of overflows, it will go into here and it's supposed to reuse it. Um, I found a little bit of juice in here, very little, when I cleaned it out for the first time. But that basically just screws right onto the bottom here. The threads obviously are smooth for this price, they should be. Otherwise, we got problems. And then you got your pin here. Um, it's adjustable 510 pin. Need a little flathead to screw it in. And that actually locks in the collector tank, too. So I don't know how really adjustable it is, but once it's tight, it locks in that collector tank so it won't go anywhere. And that's the base pretty much assembled. Actually, now let's put it on my Magneto. Waiting for a Nemesis clone to get here. Can't wait. I heard so many good things about it. It better blow me away. Okay. Fully charged 18650 in there, and let's see if she glows. Or let's see if nothing happens. Oh, there we go. Sometimes this magneto misfires. It's been happening a lot more lately. Yeah, it's glowing perfectly red. No issues at all. I'll show you my resistance here. 1.5 ohms. That was about 8 wraps. Alright, so I got my cotton ready. I rolled it. I'm just using organic cotton balls from Walgreens here. 100% organic. About 4 bucks. That's about a lifetime supply, probably. Um, and I unrolled it. And I'm just going to take this and split it down the middle. Or try to. Okay, set that one aside, and um, just kind of gauge how much you need. I think I'm just going to rip this down the center here, which is about that much. It should be plenty. Maybe a little too much. Take a little excess off here. Okay, now I left a piece of cotton like this. Um, Basically, just start rolling it kind of into a wick on one end. You kind of just gotta mess with it a little bit so you understand how much you're gonna need. A little nice tip in one side here to wet your finger if that helps. So we're gonna put some cotton through it now. Um, like I said, just make a point. So you got a nice point. Take it and just feed it right through. And I completely missed. That was a pathetic attempt. There we go. Then just pull your cotton through. We'll start seeing it get nice and bigger on this end. See how much more cotton I have hanging off. 
and we'll cut in from it later but I'm just making sure get a nice amount through the call right there start filling and getting tighter all right I'm gonna call it good there yeah you want to trim that you don't want to use it like that so we will remember with this you want your cotton to basically sit on this little ledge up here not the ledge down here but the ledge up here so you don't need much and we'll get a good pair of scissors sorry about that and we're just gonna cut a good mile off good to see and I'll cut a nice chunk off this side Okay, and that right there should be similar to what you're looking at. Yeah, that should do it. Chimney, and get all this in there, which couldn't be hard. I do want camera especially. Okay, I had to do it off camera, but here we go. Got that on, and you want to make sure that is super tight. You don't want that coming loose. Okay. And then, see here? You're just going to want to take, poke, and prod. Where's my coil on this side? Completely all intertwined here. I don't know where I'm at. There we go. You just want to push those wicks down. You don't want to jam them down. You just want to push them down onto that center. See the coil showing now? Onto that little platform where the wicks will sit. And then take our juice and just give it a soaking. And now we can actually fire it. And actually, what we'll do get it on my magneto again. And what we're going to do is put the chimney on. See, we're getting vapor. A couple more drops on there. And then you want to put this guy on. And that one, you also want to make sure it's tight. Okay. And then take a vape out of it, just like this. If it tastes good there, you know you got some right. Mm -hmm. And it tastes just perfect. So that's it. Now we will assemble the tank. You have your bottom. You have your bottom portion right here. It's all shiny, very shiny. Um, the screws right on. Threads are smooth, like I mentioned earlier. Make sure all the stuff's on there tight. And then your polycarbonate tank screws right on. It's very juicy right now, so clean it off. Then you got your top part of the tank. Tight. 
and then and we're gonna fill it up not using the fill port because I told you I can't hold a bottle that works these bottles here from Moon Mountain don't seem to work good so we're gonna fill it from top um, what you want to do is find that air hole right here not the screw and not the fill valve you want to put your thumb over it and then just fill and you want to fill just till you about till you get to the threaded area of the top tank which is to me right about there Make sure everything's lubed here. You want this stem up top lubed. So we got that filled. And you have this tiny, tiny O-ring. This guy actually goes onto the top cap here. And it just sits in here. So you always want to make sure that O-ring stays there. Because sometimes it gets stuck on the top of the stem here. And you want to make sure, like I said, it's lubed so this goes on nice and smooth. And what you want to do is just capture the threads, which I just did. And then, actually want to flip it upside down. And you'll see all the juice go away, basically. And then you could let go of your finger off the air hole. And then you can actually tighten it. Somehow I got juice out, but then you want to tighten it up. Okay. And she's filled. You'll see her bubbles going up. And there you go. And to finish the assembly, you put your drip tip on. And you have a fully assembled K Fun. 3.1 and she's a beaut she is a beautiful piece it's a little bit of work to put it together and take it apart but it's better than the Ithaca with the non-resistance resistance builds it still makes um, it makes building things a lot simpler you could do a variety of builds I have done as you can see here this is the old coil a simple four wrap build and some silica came out great just not a fan of silica anymore so actually, we will um, put this on my magneto with a kick and see how that works out. All right, so you saw the, the rebuilding and the uh, setting up. See, it's rather long. Um, I want to show you one other thing that didn't show in the up, up close bit. This is the uh, stainless steel tank section that comes with it when you order it it's just it, instead of the glass or sorry the polycarbonate that's what you get or you can use that I should say and you do get a baggie of spare o-rings and you get a couple of little screws I've already messed one of mine up so take that into consideration but it does have all the extra o-rings you're gonna need and since it's not a 510 connection on top not 510 yeah 510 connected Yes, God, I've lost it. Since it's not a 510 drip tip connection up top, it comes with an adapter. Let me get this drip tip off. So this is the drip tip that just screws in there. And it does come with this little adapter here. That just screws on to the top of this. So it looks like that now. It's rounded and you could put, it's going to look stupid, but any kind of drip tip in there. It's just a standard Durlin drip tip. Or you can use like a Ming. Just kind of fits tight in everything. Damn Ming. But you get what I'm going with this. That looks kind of stupid on there, but yeah. You could put any kind of drip tip you want in there. So you get that added feature. But that's pretty much it. I don't have a whole lot more to say. You've seen pretty much everything this thing is about. Um, 
175 bucks, vaporov.com. I'll post the link. And they do have the K-Fun light version. So if you don't care about the airflow um, and whatnot, that section pretty much is gone and it shrinks it down just a little bit. Same capacity, it's about four mils of juice. I'm gonna take a vape. And it vapes well. I'm, I'm not knocking this product at all. It's fantastic. It's just too high in price. But it's fantastic. The vape is superior to anything I vaped before. Thank you guys for, uh, Thank you guys for watching. Um, I want to thank all my new subscribers, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I'll put a subscribe link below. You can click on that if you want to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post those below or send me a PM. And um, until next time, live well and be fine, guys.